All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to make a, a barbell chart or a, a dumbbell chart or DNA chart. I've seen it described many different ways. Uh, basically, this type of chart is going to be very handy to you if you need to visualize the change or degree of difference between two data points. So I've got my uh, NBA uh, data from uh, basketballreference.com for the 2016-2017 season. And we're just going to plot a, uh, a barbell chart of wins versus losses. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my dimension, which is going to be team, and drag that over here to rows. The asterisks here represent uh, whether the team uh, made the playoffs or not, in case you were uh, curious. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our first measure, which is wins, and bring that up to columns. And the second measure, losses, I'm going to drag that down here uh, to this area. And you see it puts the, uh, the, the wins and losses in this type of uh, orientation here next to our uh, team name. So I'm going to move measure names over to color. right? And I'm going to change this mark to a circle. right? So we've got this kind of nice uh, scatter plot uh, uh, design here. I'm going to hold down control and duplicate the uh, measure values. And I'm going to make it a dual axis and make sure our axes are synchronized. All right. And let's go into our second marks area here. Let's turn this into a line. And you see when we do that, we get this uh, uh, Rorschach test uh, <laughs> symmetrical design. All it's doing, basically, it's going, it's connecting losses together for every team, right? Uh, same thing for wins. But we don't want that type of behavior. So what we want to see, uh, I'm going to take the, uh, uh, the measure names here on my second marks area and move it over to path. And you'll see I get these, uh, uh, these barbells that, that come into uh, to play here. And so if we were to, let's go ahead and sort this by, um, uh, let's sort it by wins, all right? By wins, uh, we'll go descending. That's fine. Go ahead and apply that. Right? We get this nice yeah, uh, DNA uh, hourglass uh, looking uh, format here. I want to edit the colors uh, for wins. Uh, I want that to stand out for losses. Uh, not so much. We'll apply that. And as you can see, the teams that uh, have a lot more wins uh, than their losses typically made the playoffs. So if I drag this over here, you'll see the asterisk represents uh, whether the team made the playoffs or not. You've got some teams here that were 41 and uh, 41 apparently. And uh, for the most part, these teams did not make the playoffs. As you see, their wins are uh, way below or well below their losses. Let's go ahead and make this um, uh, entire view. And there you go. Let's pull in the uh, Let's pull in the uh, conference just for just for kicks here. And you can see uh, we've got a league average row. I'm going to exclude that. Uh, it looks like in the West, um, there's a there's a big spread here uh, between wins and losses. So you would you would think these teams would be the better teams. If you know anything about the NBA, the uh, the better teams seem to reside in the West. Uh, as you get down here, you start getting into the worst teams, um, uh, pretty bad teams here uh, as well, looking at the spread. So uh, in any event, this is how you create a uh, barbell chart. Uh, go ahead and take this information. Uh, get out there do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.